Okay, here we go. I'm going to replace the uh, LED in my TV. As you can see, my TV does not have any red. There's uh, three LEDs, a blue, a green, and a red. And apparently my lamp for my LED has went out. It kind of went out all of a sudden. It wasn't a, uh, something that happened over time, so I hope that's the problem anyway, because I've got the part for it. It cost me $104 from globalsemi.com. But, uh, that's the picture. There's nothing wrong with the picture, really. It's just it's missing red. So uh, all my red's black. So uh, I'll get the TV turned around and start tearing it apart. All right. Okay, I've taken out all the back screws. Now I've got the TV turned around. I'm just going to read out the model number. It's a Samsung DLP LED. Model number HLT5687. SX slash XAA. Now it's a little bit different TV. You don't have a color wheel like you do in your traditional. It has an LED system, which apparently I've scoured the internet. It's a bit flawed, but uh, I've had this apart probably about a month ago, so I should be a whiz at taking it apart. I know the lighting's not so good, but once I get the optical out, it'll hopefully be a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just going to pull off this back plate here, and now I've got my optical unit right here and this is what I'm going to have to take out. So I'm just going to undo this screw here and this screw here. I know you probably can't see this all that well but it's really simple to take out. It's a couple screws. There's one cable here that I can take out here. plug here. So one cable, one plug. Now there's some wires in a clip here. They're blue and uh, brown wire. I'm just going to take that off of there. And if memory serves me right, I should be free. Okay. Just be very careful when you're pulling this out. You don't want to jam any wires like I probably will end up doing. Oh, I've got another one here on this side that I forgot to unplug. The motherboard, there we go. Okay, and once you're all unplugged, the optical unit just slides right out like so. So hopefully you can see that there. I've got the optical unit out. Okay, and I'm just going to take it over to my kitchen table and we'll resume from there. Okay, I now have the optical system out of the TV. As you can see, this is a cooling system here. It's got some fins that run underneath. And your optical's over here. We just want to leave that alone. There's a little case in here that's got all your little mirrors and stuff in it. You don't want to open that up. What I'm going after here, the place, a piece I want to replace is the one with this red and this white cable here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this cooling fan here. I say I've had this totally apart about a month ago, so I can't exactly remember all of the steps that I used to get it apart. Hopefully, I don't rush too fast and mess something up. Of course, you want to be careful with this. This is probably the heart of the TV. But uh, the one I did have it apart about a month ago, I cleaned it. I did take that black cap off there, and unfortunately. It took me about two hours to get everything back together, but it did give me a chance to get it all nice and spick and span in there. And I noticed a bit of a picture improvement. I didn't pop a mirror out probably that I shouldn't have, and it near, damn near had a heart attack. Trying to get it back in. First of all, I thought I broke the mirror, so I was no good. Okay, so I've got those bolts out. There's a little plate on top here. And this whole piece, if I remember right, should just lift right off. It is inside this fan. So I'm just going to kind of tuck that over to the side. Okay, now I've got another fan here, and I've got, don't think these cables will get in my way. These are these cooling fins here that I was talking about. And uh, I noticed when I had it apart last time, that red one there, the one on the end, which is this guy right here. He was really dusty and dirty, so my theory is that it 
wasn't cooling properly and that's what blew out that that P lat. Hopefully, I like I say I'm not a hundred percent sure on what the what's wrong with it. Hopefully this fixes it. Okay, so I'm just gonna unplug oh do I need to unplug them all? Yes I do. I'm just gonna unplug or no I don't. No, I'm in indecision. I'm gonna start by just unplugging the screen one here. I might have to get at that guy also. There's two cables that connect each one. There's a thicker one and this little plug in here. Let's just lift right out of there like so. You gotta make sure you plug all that back in once you've unplugged it. And this red and this white one. Okay. I'm just gonna take this one right out of here, I think. Or maybe I'll leave it. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, I'm just gonna bend this fan back a little bit so I can get it to screw in behind it. Get that fan out of there and out of my way. It's not a good sign when I already got a mystery screw kicking around. And on the other side. Okay, so I've taken that fan off of its mount. I'm just going to set it aside with the other one over here. It's going to give me a good look at what I'm looking at. I am trying to. Well, I'm scared to pull that out of there. I kind of want to take it out so I can give you a better look. But uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Okay, so I've got my cooling fins there, as you can see, the three of them. I'm after the red. Okay, which is this guy right here. And this is going to be my green. And this one over here is my blue. Okay, and there's three different colored LEDs. This one luckily is the red one, it's the easiest to get at. There is an extra cooling fan I noticed on it though. So I'm thinking that it might heat up a little bit more than the others or something. Just trying to talk my way into telling myself I'm doing the right thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take off these four screws holding that fin into place. Come on, come on, there we go. Seems really simple now, but I guess if uh, you're going at this and you haven't done it before, it might seem a little hard. It seemed a lot harder the last time I had it apart. But... Now, the other option is it's going to probably be my whole board that I'm going to have to replace if this doesn't work. I probably won't be the happiest camper around. So even if you do own one of these TVs, it's probably going to be a good idea to at least take this cover off where these fins are and clean those out once every couple of years. I think the LEDs are rated for 20,000 hours or something like that, but it doesn't have anything to do with it when it heats up like that and burns up our lamp. Okay, so I've got this cooling fin. Just give me a second. Yeah. 